If your ink's too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. joining us today. Today's a special day because I hate to say it, but our dear Mike Green is here. Uh, and I am so looking forward to seeing what you have, Mike. Uh, you have some uh, amazing thanks. that have uh, appeared up on some of the uh, Facebook pages. Uh, my only problem is, uh, do you only show your stuff on Instagram? Well, uh, Instagram and I have a website. You can go look at them on the website as well. So if you uh, if you go to uh, mikespenfun.com, you can see all the pens there. So if you can use the web interface, you can you can get to it there as well. But most of the stuff, yes, if I'm as I'm making things and getting things, I usually show what's going on over at Instagram. Okay. Yeah. You, no, no, you no. have some very very cool blanks. Oh uh, yes, that's that's usually what happens when I get the blanks. I'll show people. Oh, here's the blanks I just got. And, Usually one or two of those sell, you know, somebody says, oh, I want, I want that one, you know? So that happens now, a lot. My, my plans are, if they come through, God willing, I, I'm going to try to have, is it Atlas? Atlas, Atlas Supplies. That's the last, uh, the newest I'm supplier that I've been using. Yeah. Next week and set up a date and have them on with Mike so they can interact and talk about their blanks and stuff. So uh, that would be an interesting uh show to watch now mm -hmm. with mike you know what i'm trying to let people know is that that honesty that mike really makes a fantastic fountain and i'm not being uh what's a good word to use just pushing his pins but i'm pushing the pins in the direction that i feel that his pins will hold up to anybody it's all about the heart of the pen. The heart of the pen is for me, the main thing. He already pays to have the nibs tuned. You pay nothing out of pocket. Uh, and it's Kirk uh, what? Spear. Spear that does the tuning. And then when they get back to my code testing, everything is, is mm. done. The only thing that the customer has to do is enjoy the 15% discount and the already affordable price. It's a win-win for the customer. And what does Mike get out of it? A big smile because those who enjoy his pens, that's his reward. Uh, so he's not in it to, to be Mr. Big Shot, Mr. Big Star, Mr. All That. He's in it to make others happy. And what size nibs, steel, go? I'm gonna let Mike run the show for a while. So Mike, you can take it. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> All right. Good to see you, everybody. Good to see you, Dan. Well, uh, I mean, I guess the, uh, the the big thing right now is I've, as you were mentioning, uh, I, I met the folks, uh, uh, I don't know, it was Natasha and Dan from uh, Atlas Supplies. They were at the Chicago Pen Show. <laughs> <laughs> and they were walk, walking around, uh, handing you know they were they're trying telling everybody about their their materials, and uh, they were generous and gave me a couple samples, and uh, they were you know they're, they're it looked very interesting. I made a couple pens from their samples <clears throat> that they gave me at the show. Uh, here here they are. Uh, one is the uh, crazy fiber, and it comes in a lot of different colors, but this is the one they gave me a green and green and white here. Basically, Beautiful. that's a very nice material, and then also one that they call uh, 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 Juma Dr Dragon. It's a dragon material, and uh, it has kind of a scale kind of pattern to it. And so I like those those two a lot. And I really I really like the dragon a lot. So I went and bought uh, four of the uh, dragons dragons just to try them out again. Here's the uh, here again is is another pen that I made. This the golden dragon. And this one, you can really see the scales on it. See them? That's why they call it dragon because mm -hmm. it has a scale pattern on the on the in the in the material. That's as you can Mike. see, it kind of changes colors as you uh, it catches the light as you turn it. What's that, Dan? 
Mike, what size is that one? What 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 diameter is the uh, is the oh, barrel? Okay. On that? This one, I the, these these four, I made a, a thirteen millimeter. Thirteen. So, okay. So you can see it's and it's got a number six nib, right? Okay. So it's and, and this one. Okay, I, I'm looking at it through the camera here. I think this one's a, a bicolor one, right? It's a gold and yeah, so, love it. You know, steel or, or silver, mm -hmm. and uh, and and pretty much any. Any size or style of Bach number six nib. Well, of course, I, I have a lot of them in stock. And so that's what that one what? has on it right at the moment. Mike, and yeah. What would a pen like that what would a pen like that go for, Mike? Well, uh uh my normal like quote retail price that I charge for this for this one would be about 170. All right. And uh, of course, and of course, if you know the if you know the secret word, Larry. Uh, you get a 50, you get a fifteen percent discount. So all of these pens, you could. Uh, I don't have my chart in front of me, so I can't tell you what the exact number is. But you just subtract fifteen percent, and that's what this would be, and that includes shipping. All right. Yeah. And so, so I have those. I have that one, and then of course I have the. I had. I had a. I had a uh, what they call the magma dragon, which is the uh, a red one, but somebody already bought that, so that one's gone. I'm sorry, folks, but I do still have the Laguna Dragon, which is a blue one. Well, that's a gorgeous color. It, it really is. It just yeah. When you get it in your hands, you're going to see it, it just light up even more. It just, yeah, yeah. You're just yeah. It doesn't really you know. As always, cameras don't really show how good pens look really, especially if they have a lot of uh, shininess or you know color like this where they catch the light. That doesn't really show them really to their best advantage, but. But uh, again, here's a a, a Bach number six. Oh, this is a polished steel one. Again, it may be hard to see that on the camera, but, but uh, there he is. And then, and then I have a pink one. So there's, you know, who knows? There are some pink dragons out there that too. Is a nice pink. Oh, yes. Right. That's, That's a cool dragon. So pretty, pretty. Oh yeah. It's. I guess. I guess. I guess this is a female. I can't really tell how to tell with dragons. It's got a rose gold nib on it too, just to match the pink. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, but that is nice. That's a good choice. Good choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, so these are the newest the ones I just finished. I just finished these last weekend. So these are really, I'm really happy with this material. I'll be getting some more of the material. So you know, I, I, I had never heard of these of these people. Atlas Supplies. They, they, they've been selling this for a while though. So. Yeah. Beautiful pen, though. All right. Yeah. Now, now you also offer Jolo nibs as well, don't you? Right. Well, it's it's a it's a matter of what I make when I make the when you make the pen, you have to decide. You know, like at this point, since the pen is already made, I had to decide what section right. to make for it. Make right. for it. And so this one I made for a for a Bach nib, you know. But it, I could have e easily have chosen Yovo as well. Uh, I'm looking. I wonder if I have a Yovo a pen laying around. And I just kind of alternate back and forth. I use uh, both uh, Yovo and oh, I think this is a Bach as well. And, yeah, somewhere I have a Yovo, but I have I do use Yovo a lot as well. And and you know they're they're both good nibs. Oh, this is a this is a Bach as well. Huh. I got I guess I've had a run of box lately, but uh, yeah. I do use Yovo. I will use. Uh, uh, is this a Yovo? Here's a Yovo, I think, but my eyes aren't quite good enough. But I'm pretty sure that's a Yovo nib on this pen. Here we go. Here we go. Is that a Yovo? Yeah, I could see. Yeah, it's got a Yovo. Yep, I believe that's a Yovo. See the see the when they if they buy if they put the size on it, that's almost that's a Yovo. Bach for some reason just doesn't do that. Or this could be a anyway. Was that an ebonite a, pen, Mike? This is this is an ebonite pen. Here, I'll show you the whole show you the whole pen. This is an ebonite pen. Looks is, familiar. It does look familiar. I, I think uh, you may, <laughs> you may, it, it may look similar to one that you have been seeing a lot. Yeah, of is it? This is, is kind of like this, this little baby here. It's kind of like that one. This is the beige this and little black. Bit of mine. You have the yellow yes, and black <laughs> counterpart to this, the sibling to this one. It's exactly the same kind of uh, style. You know, the tapered end and the rounded uh -huh. top. You know. And uh, again, this is a 13 millimeter pen. Uh, 13. For those of you who aren't, you know, for for those of you who aren't really, you know, aren't really up or, or maybe newer to this, I'm talking about the diameter of this part of the pen right here, right where the threads are. That's Not the outside. 
No, the outside's actually a little bigger. It's going to be like you know, you can see the the uh, this is the this is the, uh, the the right here, right at the top of the grip. That's about the top of those outer ridges of those threads are about thirteen millimeters. All right, and you can see okay. it. There's a step, and of course the cap has to thread onto that. Yeah. So the outside of the cap, you know, now we're talking, you know, physics. You know, the outside of the cap has to be a larger diameter than the. Uh, than the threads that are on the inside. See, that matches the, the these threads here. So it's usually, I would guess that this is probably in the realm of uh, uh, maybe about maybe 15 or 15 and a half millimeters. Some, usually it's, I've cut it to somewhere around that size. Mike, the, uh, Mike this is one of the very first ones. This one of your very first ones. Ah, uh, yeah, one of the first time I ones. What size is that? Now, I thought that was, was that I 17? Think I, I think I have a sibling of that one here. I'll bring it out here. Here he is. Here's a, a sibling of that one. Here we go. I love this pen. This, yeah, this is a, yeah. uh, this is the same same as your your pen. Now you can see it's, yeah. it's 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 visibly bigger, even though it's the same style of pen. You know, you can see it's it's bigger. Yes. All right. This it is, is a, bigger than the blue. This, this is 15 millimeter at this part of the pen. All right. Right here. This is 15 millimeter. Okay. Okay. So again, the outer part of it is probably you know seventeen or something like that. This part of the pen, or the if you were to measure the barrel, I'm sorry, the cap here, it's probably around seventeen. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the threads, and of course that makes the the uh, section bigger because it, it's now it matches up to this. Whoops, I'm not on my camera here. It matches up to the size to this part here, so the section's bigger. So it gives it gives it you know a little more girth to hold, and you know you know everybody's hands are different so what might be really comfortable for one person might be too big uh on these uh bigger ones now lately uh i, I know you <laughs> i know dan you have you have a, another one that isn't in this list i don't have a copy of that or a, a companion to that one uh which one of mine that's that's your uh well that one and then you also have the uh, sasquatch which would be this yeah. one yeah, yeah which is that one <laughs> Yeah. I want you to know. That, hang on a second. Hang, hang on. Yeah, a second. yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Let me that, well, he's he ran off to do something, but I was no, I was no, actually no, you're green. that one. But yeah, I was you know, about th this pen yeah, here is also this is this is also a 15 millimeter pen, and lately with Dan's pen uh, and a few of these, uh, that first one I didn't do it, but on these these later ones now, I am I'm making the uh, the the in interior of the pen bigger. And so it will accommodate these Twisby converters, which are about twice the capacity of the normal, you know, the standard international mm -hmm. converters. They will accept the standard international if you want, or if you'd rather use that. But they'll also accept these Twisby converters, which will hold twice as much ink, which is like for yeah. those of you who like lots of ink. So, but this is this is something. Yeah, you know, I learned that when I was making your pen. I, I basically learned. I was working on learning how to do the Twisby ones. So I, this one here uh, has inherited that. And so it will okay. take the Twisby converters, and uh, this is a uh, this is called the uh, Tropical Ten po Ten Color Pour. This is from uh, the pen a Smiths, pen. and it is a very very pretty pen. I like this material a lot. You know, actually, I can't but, say there's too many of the pen Smiths materials that I don't like. <laughs> you know, they're all like, it's gorgeous. This is this is the one forty. This is a Mont Blanc one forty nine. Oh, yes. Everybody knows that's a big pen, right? Yes. Well, this not is the Sasquatch by Mike Green. Look at the size of this puppy. You yeah. asked and he delivered. Yeah. He did. That was a, a collaboration. Dan had some ideas. I had some ideas. Uh, and we kind of went wild and made that pen. And yes, it's, it, it dwarfs the 149. You got to no, quit quick. messing with the dragons and get out the little bitty <laughs> ebonite because I want you one like this one, yeah. which is no, gorgeous, quick. wonderful, Mont Blanc 144. Look at the size Here's of this puppy. Come out. Land oh, yeah. If you want a certain type style of pen, you can always email them, call them, whatever. Tell them what you want, how you want it, and oh, take okay. care. Yeah, it's so, those pretty yeah. blanks that I want to see. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. I can I can do that too. Some of them come with or without clips. Some come with uh, what do you call those stoppers, whatever they call them. Uh, pin stops, huh? 
Oh, roll stops. Pin stops. Roll, roll, roll stops, stops or pen stops. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, you know, these that I make, you know, they're they're you know, once I once you make them, of course, well, this one's made, you know, it's or or like, well, we were just showing the beige one. Here's here's another one in that same series. This is a red yeah. and black. Okay. Yeah. That's and pretty. I made all of these with all of all of these made I made them all with clips and I all made them all with I think these were all Bach nibs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you can see that's a that's Bach what nib. this one is. That's yeah. what this one is. That's a that's a that's a sibling. All of these pens all were yeah. pretty much the same basic uh, exterior de design with just different you know different versions of the materials. These are all ebonite. It's a wonderful wonderful pen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, but yes, I you know I do have quite a supply of <coughs> of, of convert of uh, materials to work with. So I'm looking forward to working on them. I'm in the process of doing another set of this, this using this ebonite, but they're going to be more cigar-shaped pens. So you know, it's not, there's a couple of people that wanted cigar-shaped pens. So I'm going to make uh, they'll be smaller cigar-shaped pens. They won't be monsters like Mike? the Sasquatch. Now, I don't Where are you located, Mike? I, I'm in, I'm in uh, Delano, Minnesota, just Minnesota. near Minneapolis, near Minneapolis. Oh, by the Twin Cities? Yeah, the Twin Cities, yeah. Well, you're not that far from me. So where are you? <laughs> Toronto. Toronto, yeah, yeah. It's almost a, a little drive in the car. Yeah, yeah a little drive. A little drive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, well, uh, I do, you know, I, you know, I, I hate to, you know, if you want, I could drag out a box of blanks if you want to look at blanks, if you want to. Yeah, we, we're just playing around here. I can grab them. Oh, you should do it. You should do it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here. I promise you, you will love it. You will absolutely love it, and you won't stop buying because it's so affordable. One thing, two oh, yeah. two incredible pens. They write so nicely, beautiful. It's just uh, once you get in that Mike Green rabbit hole, you're done. All right, there we go. <laughs> I, like I said, I, I have for real ladders. I do think the pens sell themselves. Do they? Yeah. Well, they. Uh, I think that once you start looking at them in person, it's pretty hard not to not to. I, I have that same problem with all pens, though, I'm afraid. But once you start okay. looking at pens in person, uh, I've got a bunch of uh, uh, ebonite. Now, eb you know, ebonite doesn't really show itself very well. You know, these they don't tend to show themselves very well in their raw form. Like this is a uh, a blue and red. You know, and you can't, you can kind of see it by looking at the end, right? You can kind of see what it's going to look like. But from the outside, it's really, there's not much to look at. I've got a, I've got a solid red, a solid blue, a oh, blue and white again here. See, it's going to be swirled blue and white on the inside. Uh, here's green That's and yellow. That's what's appealing is these swirls. Yeah, these are, these are, these are kind of swirly ones. Here's, now this one kind of shows up, the red and black. You can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. These are all ebonite. Now, the ebonite, you know, like I say, it doesn't, you know, and of course here, of course, you know, there's always these people like, you know, like me, black, just black, you know. <laughs> okay. And this I'm not just one a, of them. <laughs> yeah, this will be just a shiny black. Here's a uh, a red and green, right? You can kind of see what's going to look like. That's going to be cool. That's, that's going to be fun. Cool. All right, so those are those. One, no, I, the, so, several of these are new ones here in this in this group of ebonite ones. These are these are, are blanks. I've, I've never, no, these are not. These are not Nico. These are some German ones. But now, if you like color, now we're going to get into some real color. Uh, I mean, I just you know, <laughs> you know, I've got this, I've got this box of them. Okay, <laughs> and uh, so you can get, you know, there's just all sorts of colors that you can get from mm. these. You know, uh, like, uh, uh, like that. Yeah. All right. Ooh, oh, it's like you're watching fireworks, huh? And uh, you got, oops, I got too many of my hand at once here, but here's another bunch of them, you know. And again, the on the outside, they do kind of underwhelm you. They're going to be much better than this when they're made into pens and turned and polished. These are just the raw blanks. And the outer layers sometimes don't really tell you how good it's going to look on the inside. Uh, I've got some, uh, I was lucky. Uh, this one other one. I don't remember who made this. Oh, this is a diamond cast here. This one here. Okay. Another swirl. Oh, nice. Color. Okay. Here's one called uh, 
and, and some of them have kind of fun names. This, this is, oh, this is the Jonathan Brooks blank called Unicorn Horn. Okay. All right. I bet that would be really interesting. Yes, to, uh... This is going to be a very nice looking pen. So I've got a, I've got a lot of things, uh, you know, in the, in the, uh, in the backlog here of things to do. Oh, here's another Carolina pen company. What is this one? This is a, 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 a pensmith's one. Here. I like that one. Yeah. Here's some blue Ooh, ones. Okay. That, that bottom one is it blue or is it purple? I believe. Well, it's kind of a blue to me. more blue. It's called Clock Strikes Strikes Twelve. It's by Carol by Jonathan Brooks again, Carolina Pound Company. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here's now. Here's a couple more. I did. I was lucky and got several of his blanks lately. And so here's their his warm primary manipulation, warm toned primary manipulation. You probably pretty, heard about pretty, that. Pretty. that one's kind of a really popular one. The uh, uh, oops. oh, they're falling up. Oh, they're starting to start to fall off the table. Oh, wow. uh, here's some red. Okay, here's some that are. Uh, you know, you can just you can sit down and just start going through the box. I, I you know sometimes I'll just go through the box and try to pick out which ones should I do next. The problem there is that I tend to do too many. The last time I did that, I I think I narrowed it down to uh, thirteen of them. <laughs> so I made thirteen you pens. You narrowed once, which, it down. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's pretty hard to not pick some of these. I mean, like, you know, you look at them; they're just they're just gorgeous, you know. This is another diamond cast. Uh, oh, and this is another uh, uh, Jonathan Brooks, yeah, called Forge Patina, the top one. So, so I mean, in just, those in those blanks, Mike, how much yeah. uh, how much uh, lo uh, loss of of blank do you have when you when you mix the pen? Well, you uh, you uh, uh, you cut it up. In fact, here I've got some cut, cut up right now. Here I'll show you. Here is, uh, as I mentioned, I have some, uh, 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 I'm doing some new ebonite pens. And so you cut it into pieces like this, you know? So this is gonna be the section, this will be the cap, this will be the barrel. Oh, okay. And, you know, you do, you'll, you'll turn this down. Like this is about a 21 millimeter blank. And so the outer part of it will be turned down to maybe, uh, these are going to be 13, so they're going to be turned down to about 15. So they're going to lose about a, a good quarter of their diameter when they're cut, when they're finally shaped down. And of course, I will, I will, I will make it, I will cut it off, I'll taper it and cut it off on the end as well, right? So, but this is what the, this is what the, the end, what the, the blank would look like. So yeah, you would take one of these blanks. I can, let's see if I'm coordinated enough to do this. Yeah, is that take a great the, color? You would take the blank, whoop, I to line it up here, and cut it up like this, right? And you can see there isn't much extra, like on some of these blanks, there isn't much extra material. Oh, got to get it in camera, don't I? You can see there isn't much extra material. And if I were making this size pen with this material here, I wouldn't have much left over, you know, in terms of the blank itself. Yeah. Some of the longer ones I would have extra, some extra material to work with later. Like, Mike, somebody, like yes. Mike, that top one that you were holding, was that a gray color? Oh, the color of that one? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where's my notebook? It's hard to tell by looking at them, you know, because they all look like this on the outside here. I'll just hold up a piece of it here. There we go. On the outside, they're they're all they're pretty boring, right? The yeah. only way to really look at this, this is uh, uh is to look at the end. Uh, and you can see this one is a red and black. I don't know if you can even see it. Hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be very similar to this pen. It's yeah. this material. This is what the material okay. is. So you can't is it the can't, same company, Mike? This is yeah, this is the, the, the exact same material as this pen. This is what the, this, this pen is gonna look like this one. This is Nico. Yeah. I'm doing a, okay. a batch of the Nico ones. I have about a half dozen different colors. And like I said, these three are the the three that remain out of that first, the last batch I made, the first batch I made of them. These three are the three that remain, these three pens. And so I'm gonna make six more, one of each material again. Here's a, here, this one's a deep green. You can just see the green. You know, from the distance, it's hard to tell, but there's a green in there. Yeah. And of course we had the swirled uh, beige and black. Which wow. is very, not, very nice. That's a very nice looking material. Beautiful. And then the, uh, the red one again. 
that we were just looking at a moment ago. That's the one that I was showing you, that raw one that I just cut, that's that same material. That pen will look just will look very close to that when it's done. But you know, right now it doesn't look like my, look like much. You know, I've got a tray of them here, and all I've done, I cut them, and I'm in the process of starting to shape them. And they're all they all look pretty much the same. Here's the uh, this is the uh, this is this is the this is going to be the, a yellow and black one like yours, Dan. Oh, right? here's another yellow and black one. See now you can see I've. I've started mm -hmm. to work down the material a little yeah. bit, and but on the ends you can see it's got that swirl, yellow and black, you know. So it's going to look like this pen's going to look like, a lot like your pen. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what it'll look like. The the actual yeah. outer material itself, but from the outside, you know, it's like a geode. You know, it doesn't really look like much. You know, but you don't see any of the I yellow at all on the outer surface. What are you what are you doing to uh, get ready for the pin show? What are you making for the St. Louis pin show coming up? Cuz I'm going to well, be there today. Well, I think I may have my, to buy a pin. My goal actually <laughs> if, if all goes well, the these six ebonite pins should be done. That's yeah, I don't know if I'll get much beyond that, you know. Okay. But that's my goal is to finish these six ebonite pins before the uh uh St. Louis show. For those of you who are yeah, so again Dan, Dan's going to be there, so I'll see Dan. And so if you don't act quickly when I post these or whatever, Dan's probably going to buy all these ebonite pens, okay? You won't have a chance on them. But. I want to buy them all. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's the weekend of June uh, 25th and 26th. And it, I, yeah. It's also open on the 20th, Thursday and Friday, the 23rd and 24th. Look the Thursday is a trader's Thursday yeah. is a trader's Right, yeah. and I'm planning on. Uh, I was talking to my uh, my uh, my friend who's going down there with me, uh, and he he. We, I was originally going to not get there till Thursday, and he said, "No, no, we got to leave on Wednesday and get down there and be there for the Traders' Day." So, so I'll be there for the Traders' Day on Thursday, the twenty third, and then the show days of twenty four, twenty five, and twenty six. So Is there I, any I'm looking chance? Forward to that. You talked to me about the, of, of playing around of making a really small pin. Oh yes, 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 yes. Is that well, or is anything like that on the horizon for St. Louis it, Pin Show? It's on the horizon, but it's not likely to happen before the, sh the pen show <laughs> at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dan. So I can't buy a pin from you at the pin show, huh? Oh no, you can buy okay. here. Like you probably, you know, this beige one would match your yellow and black one really nice. It would. Yeah. This one, that this, golden nice. dragon is really making my or, the uh the dragon pens i have to admit i the dragon pens really i like that material i like this one that's the uh, golden you know, this is the golden dragon all right that's and, pretty uh, cool this is yeah. a very nice material you know yeah. uh yeah it was very it was very nice of them to like i said they gave me a, a sample of this thing. here's the here's the one i made yeah. from the sample sadly the one they gave me wasn't quite big enough i mean to your to your question earlier about how much they only gave me about that much of the material you know not oh. enough to make all three pieces so whoever gets this pen this they're going to be stuck with an ebonite you know section four things oh the poor what person, a poor, you know four thing that's sort of it kind of you know i i usually make them make them with matching you know everything matching you know i use the same material you made one for like three that pieces. for me once what? Yeah, you made yeah. one like that for me, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, but this is sort of the classic thing, you know, a lot of people like, you know, a classic, you know, black ebonite section, and then you get the feel of an ebonite pen when you're holding it, but then you get these, you know, these other cool materials to look at, you know, when you're writing with it, you know, so. I, I had, if you remember, you didn't have enough material. Right. But you That's could exactly. do black. Yep. And we needed this in a Joe 06 so I could get the Jonathan Brooks uh, Athena Owl, which is what this is. I don't know if you can't yes. see it or not. Yeah, I may not be able I to. Love I that. don't know if we can. Yeah. So, yes, if I've already made the pen, of course, it's it may already have, you know, I have some pens with box, some people, some with Yovo. Uh, uh, and then there's people like, uh, how can we put this? Ambitious people or in maybe indecisive people impatient <laughs> well impatient. no no well no i'm thinking about uh one of the pens i think you got uh you got three sections with one of your pens i did <laughs> yeah he so, so dan got one of my pens with a uh, cigar pen yeah it, it will do it will do yovo it will do bach number six and it'll do bach number eight 
So hey, Larry, Dan, I think this is going to be the Mike and Dan show. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I shut up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. yeah. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll let you talk. I'm so sorry. I don't yeah, know. Well, I just yeah. really want another pen. We'll, I just we'll, we'll kind of hold pen. Yeah, Dan was also talking to me about, you know, narrower pens, you know, slimmer pens. Yeah. And so that, I I did get, I, you know, I, I, I do have that in the works. I was getting tools to do it. And I also, I even went off and got some uh, uh, Yovo number no. five nibs, you know, they're a little smaller and to give me a little more room to work with. So yes, that's in my backlog of, you know, invent, invention ideas to work on are those slimmer pens. And so if you like a slimmer pen, you know, I can, uh, I can make them, you know, we're going to, I'll be pushing how far I can get, how small I can get and still get a number five nib in. I, I may have to go hunting around for even smaller nibs if we want to go slimmer. I don't know how big the this nib is, is on the one. A four. This yeah, is so one, one four, it's got a yeah. four in it. So to match that one, if I, if that, I may have to go down to a four nib to, to fit that, you know. So we'll see. We'll see what I can what do. What are you going to make for Janice? I don't know. Janice hasn't told me what she wants yet. It's all yours, hon. Tell him. I think we, I think we talked Janice. too long and she fell asleep. Janice, I put you Tell to sleep. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, you said Janice, not Lannis. Lannis. Oh, Lannis. You said Janice. That's that's right. I, I thought, okay. I okay, thought Lannis. it was a customer you had on the side. Oh, no, no, no. I think they're pushing for you now. They're saying, okay, what? which one? <laughs> did, of course, you, I know we were flashing by all those blanks pretty quickly. There's a lot of, what color blank do you kind of look for? I mean, you're looking for a red or a blue? No, or, no, no. Definitely. Um, uh, I'd love it if you had something in the teal. Um, teal, okay. Hmm. Uh, purple, pink, squirrel. Um, I'm really, I'm really traditionalist <laughs> for a lady. Here's, here's one. Uh, this one's from a Trent Pine Company, and they make some really nice blanks too. This one's called Mystical Mermaid Violet. Oh, that is very pretty. Very it's a pretty. very, I mean, of course, it's going to be, this is just the outside. The inside is going to be even more interesting than this. Well, this at least if you get a taste of the outside, it's uh This gives you a clue. Uh, you know, this gives you an idea of what the colors are going to be somewhat, you know, but you don't know how it's going to swirl until you actually turn it down to the right, get down to the layers. You know, you have to actually get down to the layers of the pen. Just sort of, sort of like what I was just saying with these, uh, with these uh, ebonite ones. The ebonite ones, you can't see anything at all, but there is a swirl inside, you know? And there's a swirl like that here too. There's swirls going on in here, but this one's a cool one. You said purple, so I just grabbed a violet one here. Uh, what, else, what else do we have? You could send me a close-up of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's, oh, now this one has some purple in it too. This is again, oh, by the same company, Trent Pen Company. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll start a pile of pens for you. Okay, or, or blanks for you. <laughs> this is called English Garden. Oh, there we go. Oh, and some green and white. Oh, that's kind of pretty too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's called English Garden. I'm going to have to become like Dan and, you know, not stop at one, but just start going with a collection. This is it's well, Larry's fault. Yeah, this has got some purple in it too. This is a little bit of purple anyway. This is a, another, another Jonathan Brooks called Galaxy Prime. I think there's a little purple in there. It's got some nice sheen to it. Oh yeah, this one's got going to have some sparkle too. All right, all right. So we got Galaxy Prime. I have a, you know, I didn't sort through these by color. Uh, let's see here. Just digging through the bin here. Oh boy. Oh, this isn't purple, really. Well, I guess it is a little, yeah, maybe. This one's so dark. This is a uh, primary manipulation 3.5. But it's, uh, it's probably pretty hard to see. But it's got some, it's pretty a, a pretty dark one. Um, let's see, this one here, what's this? Uh, this is this has got some, this is another turnt pen company. I, I managed. I guess I was looking at purples a lot that day. This one's called uh, Evening Tide. So it's got a little purple in it too, blue and purple and black. And oh yeah, and you silver. can see it. Yeah. 
called Evening Tide. <laughs> Where else? I don't, you know, I did, and I, you know, you can go out. There's, there are so many amazing blanks out there that people have made, you know, materials that people have made. And I haven't, like, and I haven't even started making my own blanks. I'm going to hold, you know, that's a rabbit hole I haven't gone, gone down. So I'm going to hold off on that for a while. I hope. I'm busy enough with what I'm doing. But, uh, but, uh, so could, what well, were you yeah. going to start your show uh, <laughs> with? Start the show? <laughs> yeah, since we got uh, all uh, <laughs> asking you all these questions. <laughs> well, no, no, I think we already did the, the, you know, usually we go over like, what's the new stuff? And the new stuff right now are these, uh, are these dragons. You know, these are the brand new panels, you know, that I just finished, you know. And there's a red one out there too that will probably show up eventually, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> there's a red one out there that should show up eventually here. But, yeah. uh, uh, and those are the newest ones right now. I had two more of these of this style pen. Uh, I had them in, uh, there was one called Twisted Citrus, which was kind of an orangey color. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get it going here. And another one called Joker's Joker. Oh, which yeah. is a which was a which was a green and purple pen, but it's oh. both of those both of those sold, so they're gone. So I can't show you those. I don't know if I have any more Joker's Joker around. Dan probably bought them. No, oh. they were other people. He's he's innocent this time. I don't know if I have any more of the Joker. I had several pieces of it, and I think I may have sold all of them. Oh well. Hey Jake, are you still with us? Yes, I'm right here. Yeah, he's still here. <laughs> What's this? Is this a, uh, what is this one? Oh, this is something else entirely. Oops, again, it's a black one. There's a purple. Oh, and I, I made one with this, and I think this is just, I don't have enough to make a full pen at this point. And this is another Brooks one. Uh, it's called uh, Say My Name, and it's got Say green and purple also. Yeah. Look at that green in there, too. Yeah. This is this is a uh, uh, a Beetlejuice reference. This is his daughter makes this one. You know, this is uh, and it's a be, you know, say my name, say it three times, Beetlejuice, 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 <laughs> and then bang. You know, so that's what this reference is here. So that's what she was thinking of, I believe. I, you know, I believe that's what she was thinking of when she made this pen, this material. So I can always get more of this. So I, I I made a, a a pen with this and. Uh, and I don't have enough for another pen right now, so this is this one's good. This would be short, short changed. But what else do I have? I don't think I have. I don't see any more of the Joker's Joker actually here. I've, I've got. I've got a. Oh, actually, where are my cutoffs? I just had my. I never throw these away. You know, these are all the. These are all the little stubs that are left when you cut them off, cut them apart, right? So you can see there's a lot of. So you know, do you make with those? Do you make little pen rests? I haven't done well so far. <laughs> I haven't done anything with much with these. These are just little pieces that are left, and I occasionally will rob one to do something with another pen. But uh, the reason I was bringing it up is because I think I have a piece. Right? Is this it? Oh, that's something else. This is this is a uh, this is another one called Lush Ever Evergreen, and also oh, has pretty green. pretty. It, this one was a really nice pen too. This is, I think that pen got sold. I was looking for, uh, here it is. Here's the piece of Joker's Joker. All right. So it's a purple and green. And it looks kind of dark in the light here, but it's actually, the green is a, a little brighter than that, than what, what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. So again, I can, you know, so that's a, a I think I, uh, I've made a couple pens out of this so far and then they've all sold though. So I can't, I don't have one to show you. <clears throat> but yeah, I've got all these, I haven't, you know, some people have taken these, you know, you don't want to, all of these things are, are useful. You know, I mean, you, this is potentially, you know, this could be made into something interesting. And uh, I know a couple of people have taken their, their, their cutoffs like this and just kind of put juxtapose them together and made Frankenstein pens too, you know? Just put them all together and get a Frankenstein, you know? So how do you secure that? They would be, uh, I would, myself, I would probably uh, uh, do an overlap with, with a thread or and, and, or, and probably glue them as well, you know, with, with an, like an epoxy or a resin kind of approach. I haven't ever done that yet, so we'll see. We'll see what I do with that. But, 
but I'm saving all the material. I'm not gonna throw this stuff away. My wife, uh, I think I made a, 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 a bead out of one of these at one point for her, for one of her, uh, for her, a scarf for her. I made like a, a bead. Oh, cool, and, very uh, cool. You know, it was just a matter of, uh, just a matter of, of rounding it, you know, making an oval shape out of it and then polishing it up like a pen, you know, and so she used that for one of her things. So. But yeah, these are all, these are all good. And they're also, sometimes they have some of the materials that I've, I've done before, like the Joker's Joker. I don't have a full rod of that, but I have little pieces of it. But uh, yeah, as I said, in terms of the show, the, the big thing right now is I'm gonna try to get these other ebonite pens done before the uh, St. Louis show. And then we will be moving on from there. Maybe we'll be making a slimmer pen for Dan. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see. He's been patient. If you get all my money at the show, I won't be able to get another pen later. Oh, you'll probably get another paycheck before the pen finishes the next time, right? <laughs> that golden dragon really looks pretty darn cool. It, it kinda, well, to me, it looks like root beer, kind of. Uh, right. It does have oh. sort of a brownish uh, brownish look to it. Yeah. It does have kind yeah. of a root beer kind of color to it. Oh, the shininess in it. Yeah. And uh, they make they make like a dozen different colors. And so I'm, I, I'll probably go through and walk through and do all the colors at some point, you know? I just started with mm. these four. I, I just had to do another Golden Dragon. Like this one caught my eye too. I made that one from the sample and I said, I, yeah. I really need to try that. I really need to try this pen. So the other the other pen you showed that you said that doesn't want enough material. Right. Was that right. the same, was that the same dragon? This is the, this is the same material. It? It's the same material. It's the same each, material. Each, each one is unique, you know? All in these kinds of things, you know, okay, when, you, when you when you you can kind of see it's got the same lineage. It's not okay. the exact same blank, of course. And this probably was a different, even a different run, probably. So the swirls okay. work differently in this one, and uh, and like I said, I only had enough. The the piece yeah. they gave me was about you know it was about that long. You know these two pieces. It was just a little bit bigger. Yeah. You know just about that size. So I didn't have quite enough to do a section. There was a little. There was a little piece. But not enough to do a section. So and that's a and so in pen making in parlance, that's when you get a black section. Or if I really mess up and don't have any much of the material at all, then you get a black cap too. Because I did I either maybe I made a mistake and broke the cap or something and don't have enough material to replace it. So you get a black cap with your pen in that case. Usually I just buy another blank and, and fix it that way. But yeah. some some of these materials are very hard to get. Like the, uh, Jonathan Brooks materials are very hard to get. They're almost always all sold out. Like if you if you say primary manipulation, you know any of the primary manipulations, especially, they're almost always sold out. You don't you don't you, you can't go to his site and go buy them when you feel like it. So I'm, I'm fortunate that I have a few in my queue here that I can uh, work with. <laughs> yeah. But they're all little, you know, they're all little treasures waiting to uh, waiting to come out. I'm not, I just, you know, don't have enough time to do them all. But I just, I'm really looking forward. I've got some lo lots of really nice materials to work with. And I'm really looking forward to, to trying them. I'm going to be busy this summer. Question, do you ever come sure. up with solid orange color? Well, I mean, this one here, make sure I don't want to lie to you. Okay, this one here, this ebonite is a solid red. Okay, now it's okay. It, it's kind of dull looking, but it's going to be. I would imagine the shade is going to end up being somewhere around that. It's going to be kind of a lighter red, but it's going to be shiny, of course, you know, and it'll be a solid color. It's not going to be. This is just the outside, which is kind of dirty looking, you know. But yes, I make solid blank, solid colors. I'm looking to see if I have one. Uh, I, I do make occasionally a solid black. Every time I make a solid black pen, somebody buys it. So I don't have any of them around. But uh, I should make more of them. But I do have some solid colors. Uh, oh, here. I think I have uh, one. Yeah, go ahead. Mike, I just wanted to show you this uh, pen rest that somebody made me. Oh, yeah. I know where that came from. Do you? <laughs> yeah. No, I know how that. Yeah, that that was a little piece of, of material. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, somebody made it for me and sent it to me, so that was cool. Very nice. Very nice. Well, I, in terms of solid colors, now here's here's a solid. This is one from a while ago that I made. This is a uh, 
a solid like a uh, vintage glass kind of greenish glass color right it's also since it's clear it's also a demonstrator so you can see through it you know you can see it's in the thicker parts of it you can see it's got kind of a greenish tinge to it and i have a lot of those kinds of materials i have a little i have a, I have a bag of them somewhere. Huh. Uh, I didn't grab that one from the pile over there. I also have some of these like this. How about that? You know? ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. But, you know, Ooh. this one, for, in case you can't tell, is it, I think it's close to an orange. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very subtle. Want, it's a very subtle tint of <laughs> orange. You know, I, I, and uh, let's see how we that one was really this. hard to tell the color for sure. Yeah, it's really hard. Uh, this is again. This is a. Uh, he calls this day glow orange. So I guess that's pretty close, right? Yeah, uh, it looks so like some of these. Looks like yeah. a glow stick. It looks like a glow stick. So I do have some things like that. Oh, here's the uh, here's that vintage glass again. This is that other pen I showed you a moment ago. This is what its okay. blank looked like when it started. All right. So yeah. so that is not glass. That's a blank, right? No, no. This is the same. This is uh, the the all of the well, actually, most of these uh, plastic ones I've been showing you. They're all made from a material called alumalite. Pretty much all of them are, and because uh, it's a really, you know, a really nice material to work with, and they're all it's all a matter of just what kind of uh, tints, <laughs> tints and and dyes and things you put into them as you make the when you make when you pour the material. So this is yes, cool. This, this is what that pen here. This that's what this pen came from. Was a piece like that. Wow. Right. You and could probably. Uh, I don't know if you can. Can you make that? Like a um, a dip pen? Oh yeah, yeah. You could make a dip pen out of it pretty easily. Because that that would be like cool looking for like a, I don't know. There's one. Uh, this is also a, uh, a demonstrator. That's a uh, uh, it's a it's kind of a black. So it's going to be. This is going to look like obsidian. You know, like that black rock. It's sort of semi transparent. That's what this is going to look like. It's 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 basically black. But it's it's got a little transparency let's see i'll tell you what i'll run over <laughs> that was just the first box of things <laughs> box. Uh, oh. so dan how many orders are you putting in so far <laughs> I, okay here's here's what i here's the, did the the thing, the thing, yeah. I, I wanted the biggest pen lattice i wanted the biggest pen he'd ever made and it, we it's a cigar shape and we called this the sasquash Right, Isn't that beautiful. <laughs> Look at that! Wow. And, and so uh, I wanted to get. He's lonely. You see. Oh. So oh, I see. I, I see. want a Mrs. Sasquatch. You see. So <laughs> Mrs. Sasquatch is going to be. I want it to be shorter, and maybe a little plumper. He said something about making these. Can you make these bigger, fatter? I mean, oh yes, plumper, or is oh, this yes. as big as I get? That, no, no, no. See, I, I've, I've, I'm about to. I was going off and well, here, where uh, I can dig it out. I got a pile of tools I've been collecting now to get ready for this. But uh, well, I, yes, I can. I, I, I've, I've, I've got uh, the so far the biggest I've gotten. That's a 15 millimeter. You know, the the thread part of it. Okay, right? yeah. yeah. I've got a right. nine a 19 that I'm going to try. Okay, uh, I Mrs. Sasquatch might come from that, but wow. then Lannis, <laughs> or Mrs. I, Sasquatch, they're happily <laughs> married and they're going to have offspring. Okay, oh, I see. And, oh, so okay. and that's going to be your mini pen. I want yes, I want a baby <laughs> Sasquatch, something along the or an adolescent Sasquatch. If only can come up as a five nib, we'll have to get an oh. adolescent Sasquatch. But I, I want the no clips, yeah. nothing. You know. For the adolescent type, but then there might be an infant come along, yeah. a baby Sasquatch. Pocket pen, here we come. Yeah, we're thinking about that. Yeah, if it's going to make an adolescent one, I would have to. What a year is all I'll be able to pull off. <laughs> I'd have to make it with the attitude Sasquatch somehow. Needs but, uh, now, so if you're looking like. for for solid colors, I have a lot of a lot of solid. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, I forgot about that. Here, How about that. There's a Ooh. solid purple, you know. Uh, I've got a solid. They can't like, hide in the forest. Like on that. There. A solid, sil solid silver, green, metallic green. This is sort of an ivory down here, silver. Um, ivory I've got, I've got like all, all sorts of different like primary colors. Crayons. 
yeah, I could do copper, I could do crayon colors. And actually, when he said solid, where is it? There's a solid one around here. Are you talking solid ebonite? No, no, oh, here he is. Oh, here we go. Now, if we do get the right intersection of interests here, how about this? This is a purple pen. Ooh, very cool. And, very if, you, cool. and if you like the artist formerly known as Prince, it has a roll stop <laughs> with that symbol. Oh, so it has that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little roll stop that is the symbol for Mr. Uh, the artist formerly known as Prince. So. So there's a purple oh. one. And you can see it's a little translucent. You can see, like, you can see the nib through there, right? I can't, but you can. <laughs> well, it maybe not, it's not showing up on the camera very well, but it's a little, yeah. there's a little transparency in the in the material. So if oh, you, I see it on the cap now. See, if you look through the cap there, you can see the nib a little bit, maybe. It's hard to see, maybe. But anyway, and there's actually a little swirling in the color as well. It's maybe hard to see on the camera. But uh, there we go. There's the Prince pen, right? <laughs> yeah. So there's, a, there's a solid color. Yeah, purple rain. I, I yeah. have a question for you. Have you ever thought about making uh, the caps a different color, like, let's say, a black cap, orange bottom? A red one, uh, yeah. Red cap or orange bottom? <laughs> well, I, you know, I, a lot of people are doing that. I've seen a lot of pens done that way. I, I haven't, although... Uh, like a lot of these on these series pens, I guess if we really wanted to, we could swap parts between them and, and make whatever. But yes, you can, uh, you know, again, if you're if you're telling me, you know, when I make things, I tend to be a little more conservative and just make it all one color, but uh, one material at a time. But uh, yeah, you can do, we can do whatever, you know. Okay. You, know you could, you could mix, you could, I'm looking for one. Ah, here, well, for that matter, how about this? They just happen to be right here at the, at the top of the list here. But if we were going to, we could take the, uh, uh, let's see how this looks. We'll do this. We'll do the uh, we'll just swap caps, okay? Because they have since that since they're in the same design series, they they're all compatible. You could you could swap the pat the caps in the, in yeah. the okay. bar barrels here, and have two pens like that. You know, definitely, right? Cool. <laughs> Yeah, we could do it. Well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So there's these two. Just swap the caps on. And I've also seen you people do, do that, that too. You could do that with your own pens at home, right? <laughs> right. You could do that anytime. Well, uh, and I, I've seen a few people that have, have ordered pens. I, they haven't ordered them for me, but I've ordered them for other people where they order a pen, say like this, and they order three caps with it of different colors. You know, they would just That's get, they pick out three different caps. Sort of like Dan did with his uh, sections where he got three different basically got it machined for three different nibs you know so there's three sections but with different nib nib uh uh machining so, in them, so they'll accept different kinds of nibs you could get several different caps and i could make them all to you know match this match the pen you know so at that point it's just whatever you know your imagination is really the limit at that point in terms of what you want to match together you could take you could pick any of these two you could take a you know, oh, here, I'm going to go back to these, back to these purple ones, okay, right? We'll go back to the purple ones. You could do a cap. You could do this, the barrel from, say, this one and a cap from this one. You know? Oh, that's, that, what, that's a very cool. If you like the, like those, those going together or here's another one. Now, here's another. Here's, we could do these two, you know? You get a cap out of one of these and the barrel out of the other. And for that matter, you could do this, the section out of this one. So you'd have all three of them, you know. When you open it up, you'd see a section that looks like this, you know, on the inside. So you can actually buy blanks in uh, various diameters. Is that what you're saying? Well, if you you're do that like too. Going the, these for, are all... Like Dan's you, going for some really thick pens and... Uh, right, right. These are all like... Uh, around 20-ish, about 20 millimeter. So that's as big as they can go. They go to anything smaller than that, you know? Okay. Like I could I could make an, uh, I don't think I could do a 19 millimeter pen because it would need to be on the outside, maybe 21. So it probably is just a little too small, but I do have some here already. Where are we? Um, I know I have, oh, here's one. This one here. Uh, is a uh, is is a thicker. I don't know what the number is off the top of my head, but I'll bring it up. Bring it up with another one here. Here we go. So here's here's one that's a twenty millimeter. I don't know how big this one is. It's probably a twenty four. 
So I can get larger diameter uh, blanks oh, as I well. Think, yeah. Right. And so with a blank this size, you know, I could make then a pen that much, you know, that much bigger. So if you really want a big pen, like if I was going to make a, a, like a 19, like I said, I was saying a 19 millimeter pen, I'd have to start with a, a blank this, this big. That is a cool blank. I like oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've made it. I've made a couple pens out of this one. This, one, this one's called Island Waters by uh, the Pensmiths again. And I've made a couple of pens out of this one. This is a really nice material. Very pretty. Very pretty. And we could, I know a, a couple of times I've listened to, there's a podcast with uh, pen makers and they'll talk about, sometimes they'll just lay the blanks across your desk, you know, across your table and just kind of look at them for a while. And the evening's over. We've <laughs> 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 been just sitting there looking at blanks all evening, you know, because they are, they're just, mes like I said, I got, where, oh, here, I don't see any. So here, you know, I grab some out, but here's ones that are still in the box. So we haven't even looked at some of these. So although that orange might put it back. But, here's a, uh, oh, here's a, this one. <laughs> this one's called uh, Noble Pink. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like It's that. kind of but pink. It's this is uh, kind of, <laughs> very fluorescent. Yes. You could, I think you could, I think you could guide planes into these. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So but, if, if they have and, that kind of color on the outside, this is <coughs> this is, this once, is solid. Once you oh, okay, so it will be the same as you as you mold it and cut it. Yeah, this one's this one. These particular ones here are are made particularly. Uh, they're it's like this one. You can see this one's a bigger one too. This is a thicker one, so I could the orange one, but. Uh, these are made in, and they're somewhat transparent. I don't know if you could quite see it here, but when I when I can you cut see your them, hand behind it. When you cut them into uh into a pen, you know, the material is going to be is going to be made thinner. So it'll be more transparent then, right? And so these are going to end up a pen made of this would be a demonstrator pen. You'd be able to see through it. You'd be able to see the the, uh, the nib and you'd be able to see the uh converter or or, or cartridge if you put a cartridge in it. So you'll be able to see the innards of it when you when it, when you make a pen out of this. I don't know. What do you think? A body of that one on a cap from this one? That would be kind of. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not, huh? But I have a few. Well, of those. the only reason I say that is I'm I'm not a huge fan of orange, so. Oh. Uh, I... Okay. Which one's this? This is. Oh, here we go. So orange, orange is out, right? Okay, he's gone. Uh, well, that how would about, be very cool as a demonstrator. Very how about, cool. A, how about sea breeze? This is sort of oh. green. Okay. See, there's more like the teal is the. Oh yeah, you said teal. So okay, here I'll put that in the pile that you like. Okay, there you go. It's in the pile. <laughs> All right. So so Mike, far, I think we got yeah. Mike, um, on this 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 batch here. Oh, we got this here. Here we go. On this Ooh, batch okay. here, you yeah. have one. This is the green one. You have another one that is more teal. And uh, she may like that one. That's true. It's I, I they call it they actually whoops, I bumped my computer. They don't call it teal, maybe, but it looked teal it, to me. They call it deep green. I guess it would be kind of it's not really a no, that's it's hard to even it's you can't really even see it though. It's no, so hard no, to no. see. No, it's I a very bright a, green. You got pictures that you see. Oh, the bright green one. Oh, that one. This is the this is the batch that you made with the. That's clip. the bright. That's the bright green one. Yeah. Okay, but you had another one that that was more that looked very much like this, but it was more teal colored. Mm -hmm. There was oh, there was a blue and a blue one, but that one's Maybe gone it's, too. The blue one's yeah. gone. So yeah. Okay. It's, so okay, since I'm this is the a blue one, teal. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe she might like that one. You might like the blue one. Yeah. A, so I've since this is a question and answer kind of thing going on here, sure, sure. Um, can you make them uh, like uh, six sided or? Um, oh yes, like a faceted pen. Yeah. Right? Sadly, yeah. I do not have that capability yet. I, I was actually I was visiting a friend uh, uh, this last weekend. Uh, he was having computer problems, so I was off looking at his email problems anyway. But I was looking at that with him, and I went into his garage. And he had the machine I want, so <laughs> we, I might be able to like come over to his place and try things out. I need a I need a machine. Yeah, I need another machine. I just right now, machine wise, I just don't have the tools to make make a faceted wow. pen. 
Well, unless maybe you can gonna, make an, unless I uh, carved it by hand, you know. <laughs> uh, maybe yeah. you can make an agreement with Dan to uh, he can uh, finance your new machinery. Yeah, he's working on that. What? What do you want? Finance <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, he's working on it though. He's working on it. No, oh, no, no, no. I don't know. I, I, I love the things I got. I just. Oh, no. I just if that golden dragon's around, I might just say just forget about my dra my Sasquatch family and just go with the dragon. I well, so you like, know, there's nothing. I'll just keep waving this around. Look, oh, I really man, like that. Isn't that it, if it's at the if it's at the pin show? I'm going to be holding that and looking at it. Well, if I it's think. Still there. Well, that's the, the big question, D Dan. Really, the best bet probably would be to just say, uh, just already marked that one sold. Do what? <laughs> you're gonna buy it dan dan you're gonna buy it you know it <laughs> that's mean isn't it i'd but, like to uh, see what it looks like uh in person you know well i have well we'll see i mean i can't promise that it won't disappear sure, before before the show but uh know, especially yeah. with me waving it around like that tonight people are yeah go, Darn, oh, don't man. publish this larry larry yeah. don't publish this select oh, before the show Oh, yeah, there's an embargo. This pen cannot be shown until after the St. Louis show. So this this, this video Jake, cannot be published. Jake has yet. my back. He will not let this be published. <laughs> well, the good news also, though, is I can make more. I mean, this, and I had the same kind of problem that Dan has. And, and I've always told myself that, you know, I make these pens. And I mentioned a moment ago, I've made now a couple pens out of, of, out of a, one of the solid materials called... Uh, uh, oh shoot! It's a, a graphite diamond or diamond graphite. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Oh, it, has those. It. it basically has diamond. It's a black, or very dark gray. It's really a really dark gray, and it has di you know diamond glitter in it basically. And I've made two pens out of that material, and they both have sold like almost immediately. And I I do like that material, so I'm gonna. Have, but I can always make more. You know, you, Dan, you realize that I'm in the diamond trade. Oh, are you? Wow. Mm -hmm. So that would be very interesting. Well, here, we're, I had a couple of them there. What was it? Was one of them? I do have a couple that are the diamond cast. Where did I put them? Uh, do, 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 do. They're, they're in here. Where they actually have diamond material in them. Oh, here, it's like this one here. I think we didn't, we, I showed it to you. This is a material called diamond cast. And the, there's a glitter in there. It's hard to see on the video here. But it's got glitter in there. And that's diamond material. You know, you know. So well, it's got I real... could always have a diamond mounted on the clip too. Right, you could have a diamond on the clip, <laughs> or you could, or you could also. I could also, you know, it have to be. It might have to be bigger diamond, but we could always do something like a uh, here. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll use the blue one this time, so I don't solve Dan's pen right away. But you could also, of course, put a finial on the end with a diamond. You know, you could do that too. That would be easy to do. I, I coveted the Mont Blanc made one with the, is it the Star Walkers that has a diamond in the finial? Yeah. Uh, yeah anyway. I, think, I think you're right. Yeah. I'm I afraid the, was, wasn't there a pin that put like a ruby in it lately? What was that? Had a ruby. Some pin had a ruby in it, I thought. Or, or there's was, one. I was talking about it. There's one pin that they're doing. Uh, they're, as uh, they're cutting out the hearts from the nibs and they're oh, putting it in the finial. I can't oh, remember who it is that. Right. Oh, that's cool. Wow, here's another one. How in the world would you do that? Here's, our, here's another diamond cast one called, this one's called Emerald City, you know, since it's got the green in it. Oh, this is also, you can really this, see that. And it and it and this also has diamond in it as well. <laughs> so like I said, I've got a lot of a lot of uh, fun pens coming up here. I just need more time to do them. <laughs> yeah, I could I could send you. I could probably sit down and build a a, a, a spreadsheet or a, a big panoramic shot. With just blanks, you know, I could just have uh, all of them lined up, and you could uh, pick them out. I should do um, that. Did you see? I sent you my email. Ah, oh, no, I, I, I okay. I can see you're down here in the chat. Okay. 
I didn't have my chat window open. And don't ask me to chat because I'm really stupid when it comes to doing all that kind of thing. Oh, no, no. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, um, here. There's a click. Save chat. Okay. I just made, I just made sure it took, kept a copy of it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can. I, well, for that matter, I could. This is the. It has. How can we put this? The when I posted pictures of like blanks, usually I'll post them when I get them. I'll mm -hmm. buy a, you know I'll buy a dozen blanks from whomever you know like I, I, when I bought these from Jonathan Brooks I I posted a picture of all the blanks and uh, people will very often go yes I want the third one from the top you know da, 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 da. that happens a lot so so I could do that definitely would be worth trying. Well, I certainly wouldn't want you to post it on uh, social media <laughs> before it oh, came. Out. <laughs> well, I would, I would give you first shot. I'd, I'd email it to you, a private okay. shot of them. Okay, and I'd give you a couple of days, and then I would put it on Instagram just to, just to see if anybody else is interested in them. Because I've got quite a right now. I've, I've accumulated quite a, I think, a really nice stock of different blanks to, uh, to look for. So before yeah. we go. Oh, uh, sure. Tell us about the upcoming pin show, who you're going to be with, how many tables, how many pins you think you'll be carrying. <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be bringing all my pens. I, I Sadly, I don't have as many as I'd like. I probably have only about 100 pens total right now. That's good. Uh, but it's, you know, it's something. And you saw, you've saw you seen some of them. I mean, you saw, yeah. look here, this, this stack of them here. This one here that I was just kind of walking through. Yeah, I've got uh -huh. about uh, four drawers like that, and then I've got another couple, uh, another four drawers of other types of pens as well. <laughs> and so I'll, it'll this time I'm on my own. I have my own table this time. I'm not sharing a table. I was originally going to share a table with somebody, but uh, it turned out they didn't have enough room, so I ended up getting my own table. So I will be. I don't think I can tell you. You know, I'm off kind of as you're going in the the, the ballroom. I'll be like, if you go to the left far corner, you know, from the doorway, I'll be way over in the corner over there, but it's on a corner one on the aisle. So it should be a pretty good spot. Should be easy to find. And it'll be me. I'll have my little, my little signs. They look a lot like, ha, we'll do this. isn't it a good segue? They look a lot like this. Very nice. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> big, fine. big versions of this. Okay. So look for the, this sign. Or if you are impatient, of course, you could always go to the website or my Instagram and and go there directly. So there you go. How's that? Very cool. So, so look for that sign. So yes, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I've never been to the St. Louis show. I, well, I'm a I'm a huge pen show veteran now. I mean, I, for yeah. anybody who out who's out there who who's never been to a pen show, well, I went to the Chicago pen show last year, and that was the very first pen show I've ever been to. And now I went to the Chicago Pen Show again uh, 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 in uh, April, and uh, that was my second pen show. And now St. Louis will be my third pen show. So I'm, I, you know, I'm very new to the whole thing. And I'm, it's, it's. If you haven't done these kind of things, uh, you know, if there happens to be one near you, I think it'd be, a, you know, it's fun. It's really fun to go to a pen show. Uh, you know, I can say that just from my limited experience. There's just, you know, there's going to be a bunch of people like you guys. A bunch of pen nuts, you know, that are going to be there to talk to, you know, and it's it's a good time. So I really, you know, I know St. Louis or Chicago or whatever isn't convenient for you, but there's a lot. If you go online and look, there's there's you know there's the DC Pen Show, which is a really big show. There's San Francisco, LA, and I can't. There's like a couple, three dozen different places where there's pen shows in the U.S. And of course, there's pen shows in other countries. I haven't made it to the Tokyo Pen Show. I'd like to try that someday. Ooh, that'd be wonderful. That. Of course, the Tokyo yeah. Pen Show would be extremely dangerous. I don't. You think could I come would. to the uh, Scriptus, which is the Toronto Pen Show in. Okay, October. right there you go. The Toronto Pen Show. I, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't include you guys. Sorry about that. But yes, there's the Toronto Pen Show. There's a lot of pen shows. So I'm gonna. I'm kind of gradually expanding right now. I. I. You know, there's like a pen show every other weekend or so for most of the summer and into the fall. So for people who are really serious into it, you know, you're on the road pretty much all the time. So I can't, I can't quite do that. It's still the day job. <laughs> hey, people, any more questions you'd like to ask Mike? Let's do it now. All right. I don't think I, the only thing I'll just say, remind, remember everybody, if you, if you do contact me, 
mentioned Larry and you get a 15% discount, even yeah, at the quick. spin show. Before you mean you don't it. charge us extra for knowing Larry? <laughs> oh, I did say 15%. I didn't say whether it was minus or plus. Up or down. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, I need to say a few things uh, that's upcoming in October. October is going to be the uh, Breast Cancer Aware Month, and our host that's going to be leading it is going to be Lena from Pin Boutique, and I've got the American Cancer Society as well to be on with us to talk about uh, breast cancer awareness, not just for men, but um, for women, but for men as well. So that's going to be a really, really huge, trust me already working on it so that that's going to be coming up um next week depending how jake feels because he's having his surgery done monday i think about having a pin talk what do y'all think we can talk about pins <laughs> squirrels <laughs> that's what damn Whatever. sorry larry I, I didn't catch what you said you're having a uh like a pen chat is that what you're thinking uh-huh oh, okay you like that? Just talk <laughs> about pen. Or me. Or Mike. Uh, pens are more interesting than me. <laughs> uh, how many here have bought pens from Mike? Uh, am I the odd man out here? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, we're working how on many, that. How many have bought too many pens from Mike? About what? Too many pins from Mike. Oh, too many. No, not too many. Can't Let me see. Does Dan reason. have his hand up over there? No, no I, I can't have too many. No. <laughs> uh, but, I'm I'm gonna know. get one at the pin at the pin show. I think. I think. No, here's how Mike. Mike, here's how it's gonna come down, and you know it. Dan knows it. He'll get that root beer looking one before the pin show. Watch. No. As soon as we hang up, he's gonna think about he's it. Gonna he's gonna text, text you. Text. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Watch what's going to happen. It looks pretty cool. Send me some pictures of those two together. If you could send me. Yeah, these two? Yeah, some these little close-ups and stuff like oh that. You, know. you have well, two you can, of them? Yeah, th this one was made from the sample that, that uh, uh, they gave yeah. me at the at the Chicago pen show. It looks this wonderful, my, but the other one looks more like dragon scales more. Yeah, that this one. Yeah, the the original. I'm sorry, the original sample, the one from the sample. I mean, it looks good, but the yeah. uh, but the the one from the material I bought from them definitely has more of the scale kind of effect yeah. to it, you know. Yeah. And and like I say, to be fair, every one of these is going to be different, you know. Every every when you make blanks, all these guys when they make their blanks, their materials. If I made a pen out of this one, I would even if I bought the same material again, I couldn't guarantee that it would be even close to it in terms of the patterns. Mm -hmm. The colors would be the same, but I can't say anything about the patterns that are going to emerge when I do this, right? Yeah. And so yes, I would say yes. I can. Well, if you look on Instagram, I already have pictures and I have videos of them being turned and then close-ups of oh, them okay. as they're being okay. turned. Uh, that so one you, too? Okay. Yeah, I have both of these on Instagram and videos. Okay. And you you can, when you get to the picture, you can just swipe and you can see, you'll be able to see a video of the pen as well. Okay. So you can try it that way. And if you want more close-ups though, Dan, I could, you know what the best thing oh, to do? The best okay. thing would, would be for me just send these two pens to you. <laughs> you can get all the close-ups you want. All, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all you have to do is tell me what size nibs to put in them when I before I send them, just to get them close to what you like, you know. Uh -huh. Right, right. I think this one has an extra fine in it right now, which is different, you know. I don't yeah. think you have any extra fines, but I don't think you're into extra fines. I don't so have any an fine. fine. I, that might be interesting. An extra this fine. This is an extra I fine. Know. This is an extra fine right now. I've never bought um, a pen with an extra fine. Right, and I think oh, Larry this... wants to say something. Okay, Larry. It's time to go because the battery is <laughs> running at Jake's side. He's okay. over there yelling at me. Okay. Tell him you, you won't say nothing. He's over there now. And, and cut. cut. So, hey, y'all want to do this next week if Jake's up to it? Good luck with your surgery, Jake. I hope Jake you're feeling better be next week. Yeah, he good. Give good Jake luck. a week off, Larry. Good day for you, Mike, next week. Oh, I, I think 
every evening except Monday is open for me if you're looking for so time. Any and and evening. But later, yeah. later in the week would probably be better for Jake. I would give him give him a few yeah, days it, anyway. Be later, probably about give seven him some time to recuperate. Well, no, not so like Friday that's, or Saturday. Give him a few fun. days, you know. Mm -hmm. Give him a few days. Oh, in the week. Yeah. End of yeah. the week. Yeah. Late in the week. Yeah. Give him. Yeah. Let's let's see. You're 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 going in for on Monday. Yeah, Monday at seven o'clock is not a good time. All right. <laughs> Monday's not going to happen. Yeah, Monday's not going to happen. Definitely not going to happen. Trust me. I don't know about you. It just depends. He just has it Monday. So I got to go play by ear. All right. I got to shut up. All right. So, Mike, be nice. Be nice. No more secrets. Oh, I don't keep secrets. You know that. I can't keep secrets. I tell everybody. All right. Are you ready? See y'all later. Thanks for coming, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Dave. Bye. Bye. See you, Atlantis. Good night. Good night.